Hey guys, and welcome back to the Redox series. Again, I've got to apologize for the gap between this video and the last one. Last time it was about puppies. This time it's about YouTube. I actually got locked out of my account on YouTube. Uh, guys, don't worry, it wasn't anything serious. Just it was, something, it was my own silly self, really. So I had to wait a few days to get access back to YouTube, and today is the first day. So we are here, and we are um, NG Paradox. But yes. So, we're gonna go to our story in Nefer. Um, it's funny how our story has gone so far. I did, initially, when we first started, wanted to kind of rebuild Nefer up here, but because of money and opportunities, we've ended up going a lot more south than I expected. But, very happy how things have gone. It's been a very interesting campaign, but I feel like we gotta look. We gotta look west. We gotta get to the Iron Throne at some point. Um, now, the thing is, obviously, the Iron Throne is close enough that I can interact. Uh, places like the Vale, though, are not. So I can't interact with the Vale, the Stormlands, or any other. Even the North is too far away, apparently. But the Iron Throne is not. So we can't actually try and get a claim on any other place apart from if we can attack the Iron Throne for us. So, for example, in this situation, um, we could attack for the Stormlands because I could attack the Iron Throne for the Stormlands if we had a claim for it. But I'm thinking maybe we should get one of the free cities. Take a free city and maybe use that as a base of operations to then be able to attack in a mega war like this, attack one of the weaker places. That's what I'd like to do. So I think that's what we need to do with our next generation of kids. I could go further south um, or maybe even take some of these lands in the mountains up here. And currently this is owned by Dothraki. And we could go further. I could just spend all our money and you know, re-civilize these people and rebuild these places, but I feel like that's going to take too long. You know, we want to try and get a chance to go back. I will try and do that, but I also think we should have a secondary plan to get to Westeros quicker. You know, I think you got to have multiple plans sometimes. you got to have multiple plans, just in case the first one takes too long or it fails, you know, we, don't, we run out of money or something, or Yt attacks us before we get to do that. They could turn against us, and maybe with their strength, if they all unite against us, they could defeat us. But we're at the strength now, we could pose a threat to most other King Tier titles. So I think we need to use that. Um, so I've got four kids right now, they're all a bit young. My daughter, though, obviously, is at the age, and we should look to get her married. I could use her to get an alliance, or a claim. Now, probably an alliance would be better, because the boys are all going to have to marry girls, and their kids will all have their claim. She could have kids with no claim to our throne, because she doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter to us. She's not going to inherit it, hopefully. But let's have a look what we can get. Now, this will decide it, really, I feel like. So, we have, obviously, a chance to ally with one of the Dothraki uh, Karls, which, not sure about that. The King of Pentos. Now, that would be a great ally in the Free City. He's not particularly strong, and he is in those wars right now, so that could affect him. But that could give us an ally over here in the Free Cities. The Zealots might pretty cool uh, name. Did you make that yourself? Uh, original owner, Lady Lorif the Holy. Okay. Who had that then? Did he take it off someone? I think he took it off someone. Yeah. Okay, well, there you, you took that off someone. But yes, we could try and ally with him. That could be a good ally there if we can get claim one of the other places. Let's see what else there is. Um, Ib Os, one of the Ibanes. He's strong, but it wouldn't matter. They wouldn't be of our dynasty. Baratheons, no. Some people down in YT know. Okay, Pentos is probably the best choice. If we want to go for the Alliance. I don't see any of the names that jump out at me really there. Okay, how about Matrilineal then for some claims? We want to get a claim through my daughter. Now we have, obviously, Adam. Adam, Lord of the Giants, okay. Uh, Lord Nell, I do recognize this name. Ah, that's because his mother is the mistress of Maya. So we could use Maya as a base of operations. Now, I would need the Empire tier title. Because if there are our dynasty, if we do take a kingdom tier title, we would need the Empire tier title already to put that underneath Nefer. Um, otherwise, they'd just be an ally, which would be good to still attack. We'd have to attack, though, the actual Iron Throne, which is not what I want. I want to take something to be able to take... Um, you know, attack one of the other free cities. So we, w we could go for a claim and look to also make our kingdom, which we're not really that far from. We have the two kingdom titles right now. Also, if we want to make our own empire, we need yeah, three of them. 
We're not going to get the realm size. Prestige, or actually, this guy actually isn't that far from prestige. 3,000. He could do it. He's 42. He's going to have to live to 60 at least, maybe. It could be difficult, and he's done a lot. Like, that, getting that 3,000 prestige can be a problem. Um, but we could, it definitely is doable. And yeah, we'd have to wait for them kids anyway, so it might take them a while to have kids, because how old was that kid? He's 12. Still, it'd be two years until they could even get married. I'm actually liking the sound of that. That'd be a good base of operations if we can get the Empire tier title. That guy is... Okay, King Zorono the Holy. The King of Pentos. Does that boy have a claim? A strong claim on the Kingdom of Pentos. Well, well, well. We could just take Pentos itself. It's the same family. Well, well, well. 13 years old as well. Um, nothing, no natural traits, I think, between them. And even there's like a, a special natural trait. Uh, let me have a go check again. Um, nope, he's fine. Yep, he's okay. Where is he there? Yeah. Um, one of those two actually would be good. Pentos or Maya? Now, we don't know what, the thing is, we don't know what's going to go on Pentos. With this whole war right now. Pentos did used to be underneath Bravos, if I remember correctly. So... I don't know if this is a Mega War thing, because they're, they're both attacking Pentos, maybe. But why would it be then? Hmm. Pentos maybe seems a bit unstable. Maya seems more stable. They're not at war of anyone, so it's likely, hopefully, going to be a bit more stable. And I, I mean, obviously, it would be good, good to be unstable, but it doesn't mean it'll be conquered, which would, could make it harder. So I actually think we should betrothal to him. Rather than the, I could get an alliance with my sons. Let's have a quick look at my sons. If we if we were going to marry them off right now, what kind of things pop out? Okay, there's someone from Pentos. So there we go. That's someone from Pentos right there. It would not give us an alliance, but it would give us a claim, a weak claim though. So we could also still go for a Tyrell. <gasps> that could yeah. And her mother is currently the Lady of the Reach. This could give us an opportunity to then if we could take Maya. Attack the Reach from there. Take that, and then we're in Westeros. That could be our key to get in. Yeah, so then I think the daughter then should... I need a piece of... Then if we're going to marry that Tyrell girl, I need a piece of land over here. So I should marry that Tyrell girl to this son. I cannot see anyone else that really pops out at me. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's... Okay, that Tyrell girl, then let's try and get her. Where was she? There we go. She's six years old. He's six. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. Ooh, and that could give us an alliance. Yes. It could. Huh. Interesting. Lady Paramount Alice Tyrell making a pact possibly with the Redox family. She must know the family. She's heard the stories of what happened, obviously. You know, everyone knows the reigns of Castamere. Everyone knows what happened when Tywin, you know, killed off all the families and and in this scenario, obviously, we said that included our family, so she knows. They all know. She's married to a Tuckwell. And there's only one boy. And the Lannist <gasps> a Lannister's she's making bets in both the beds, isn't she? Hmm. Okay, she's making beds with both enemies. Interesting. Well, if we make sure that girl dies and the son dies, we could get it. Okay, okay. I like it. I like where this is going. So now that we got that done, we need to get her one done. Definitely go in for Maya. That's, yep, yeah, have to do it. There we go. Let's do that. And for now, both of those also can give us an alliance right now, which could be useful to protect ourselves from places like Yeti and stuff. So there, for now, we're going to keep peace because I would like to get some money <laughs> for our nation. I think that would be good. For you, we're not going to attack her, are we? Yeah, the sun won't get the claim until she dies. So we might as well form an alliance with her for now. 13,000 men. I mean, it could give us a chance to then go attack the Iron Throne if we ever get one. Now, again, her daughter won't get a claim until she dies. Might as well make the alliance. Yes. 27,000 men. Well, there we go. The Redox family. Really, now we finally entered into the Westeros politics. That, that That's our first move into Westerosi politics. Marrying into the Reach. The Tyrells. Our first one. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed the Tyrells might be the one to help us? Uh, they've been excommunicated. Okay. Thank you, Alice. 
We could we could potentially use her against the Iron Throne. Ah, she's already at war. Okay, Alice's claim on the Reach. So the Iron Fro oh the Iron Throne, yeah, the Iron Throne is actually attacking. The Queen of the Iron Throne is attacking her, with a lot of other people. She's got twenty-seven thousand men. I mean, we'll accept, but I I mean I can't send my men there. I can't risk it. We'll we'll we'll. we'll We'll help her in morale, you know? We'll give her morale support. She can handle this. Look at that. Um, it's actually pretty even. It's probably slightly towards the rebels. But she has 14,000 here, 13,000 here, 8,000, 7,000. It's kind of like, yeah, 17 and 7,000. Yeah, the rebels have more. If she can kind of take down some of the smaller groups, make sure they don't all join together, there's a chance she could make it. Uh, notice the pitiful state of my son, Prince Kennet. Uh, call the physician at once, of course. Any weak claims? Nope, no weak claims I'd like to push right now. We're going to keep the things peaceful. Get our men up. Just try and, shall we say, grow some claims, shall we say. And hopefully then use those in the future. We need to nurture our lands, Nefer, right now. So we can then go west. Um, I feel we're no longer depressed. Oh my. Will we one day get rid of our stress as well? I I. I'm amazed. We actually got that. Makes me hope that we can actually live longer. We could actually get the 3,000 prestige. A party of soldiers flying the banner of Lord Eovo of Mataka recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to a farmer. Yeah, I'm, I'm a proud man and we need to... We, it's a divine act. No one's responsible, of course, of course. Excellent. Um, I've gained the trait Administrator. Okay, should be nice. Stewardship goes up by plus three. Movement speed goes up as well. We've had another son, Maynard Redox, but he's sickly. Now, all the other kids are now healthy, so that's good. So hopefully he'll, you know, go through the same stuff, you know. But all the Redox babies always look a bit sickly. They always heal up at some point. Uh, Justice should go to Alton Redox. Congratulations, Alton. Back on the board. 8%. Do you have someone who's better? Maybe someone can actually fight. No, okay, no, maybe you are the best. Okay. Well, we've got quite a few kids. Let's go. It's 8%. It's better than... It's, he's got more chance of something going good than something going bad. So, yeah. More wars in the reach. Well, she could lose that quicker than we expected. Um, luckily, it's a betrothal, so... <laughs> There's a few more years, so we'll see how that goes. But, damn, that would be upsetting. Uh, Mr. Mailer's worried about my newborn son, of course. We must attempt to save little Maynard. Of course. We keep an eye a bit more on the west now, because I say we want to keep an eye on what happens here, so we can have our own plans for what to do. Whatever the Mesa did, I cannot see any improvement in Little Maynard. My son still seems worryingly lethargic. Why am I even paying that quack? Tyene Martel, in case you bought a favour. Uh, a beautiful nude hard home. Do you mean you got the province hard home? What does that mean? Oh, it's a book. Okay, I was about to say. I thought I said there's the county, but how would you receive a beautiful new hard home? I don't think hard home is described as beautiful either. What was it? Um, has occupied my rightful seat. I'll stop at nothing to take it. Hmm. Would we help him? I see no reason why I would help him. As a hundred gold, get get out of here. Get out of get out of my face. A hundred gold to help you? No way. We've almost got 500 gold, so the question is now, do we use that gold to re-civilize these people? Do we use it to conquer West? That's the question i got to think of right now. And obviously, 400 gold can give us an empire. We need 400 gold for that, so I need to be wary of that. So that's not when we get to 500, we won't take it then. But I would like to take one of these. That would give us our next king title. Yeah, okay, we're going we're gonna to go for the Thousinger. We're going to at least restore one of these. I would say. Yeah, we need to restore one of them because we're never going to get that. Um, there's that Haikun, but that's quite a lot to take. We'd have to take at least that one. We, if we take one more, we could probably get it. Um, Interestingly, that's its own one. It's quite a small one, but we don't have any of that. So yeah, I think getting that one makes the most sense. Yeah, we're not going to get an Empire till unless we get Yi-T. So I think we should just go for that. Get the Kingdom one. Let's get that done. So we'll go for a thousand gold then. Okay. Save up the gold. If we make that, 
that would probably look good at actually getting us more prestige. We gain 200 prestige just to making this High Lord. If we make a kingdom, it'd probably give us the prestige we need. So let's go for it then, guys. Okay, we have a plan. We're getting a kingdom tier title. We're going to rebuild one of those places, get the kingdom tier title, uh, make an empire. That's our plan. One of the slaves in your camps has distinguished themselves. I'm not that impressed. Nah. Just sell her for whatever. Give me that five gold. I mean, I could always sell, just sell some slaves. I mean, the reason we have so many men, probably is because of slaves. But there's still, look at that, there's still like, there's still like 13,000 potential men there. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, but yeah, so we could have a lot more men. Whilst holding court, a group of Jogus Nai warriors was presented to you. Their leader expressed the admiration they had for you. Hmm. Maybe these people aren't so bad after all, you know? When the Redoxes came here, we saw those Jogos Nai people with, uh, you know, Westerosi eyes. Maybe they're not so bad. Um, but yeah. They have affirmation for me and presented you a gift of a young Zor Stallion. A striped black and white mount that the Jogos Nai ride on the plains. I thank you for this fine gift. A Zorse would be great. I need men like you. Please stay in, uh, Pichu. Do I? I don't think I do. Thank you for the gift, yeah. We, we, we're too proud, yeah, to accept him into our household. But maybe we've gained a new liking towards the Jogger Snow people. Maybe I don't hate them so much. Maybe, you know what, maybe we've been... They, they've obviously seen we've conquered these lands. They're like, wow, look how impressive this man is. He started off over here. And he's done what none of us could do. Maybe he's not so bad. Yeah, maybe... Maybe we're looking at them with new eyes. Maybe they understand. Let's have a look at our new Zorse. What does our Zorse give us? Uh, monthly prestige. Well, that's good. Uh, Though millions may worship the god emperor of Yeti and prostrate themselves before him whenever he appears, the imperial wit extends no further than the walls of the capital. The hundred princes of the empire rule their own realms. One such warlord by the name of Chen Ro is rampaging in the lands of Lord Chen Ha Li, intent on establishing a power base at his expense. Okay. Chen Ro. And Lord Chen Ha... They're all the same family. Family affairs, obviously. Family affairs. But yeah, nothing to do with us. We don't care about the God Emperor. The Zorse that was gifted has grown into a mighty stallion, and due to its ferocity has been kept in its own stable, lest it kill the horses. The man that tames this beast and rides it into battle would surely earn the respect and of lord and peasant alike. I shall tame it. Chance that the Zorse is not tamed at 54%. It's pretty... Yeah. Our esteemed Jogos Nai guest will show us how. Or I think it is best left alone. Now, he's diligent. He's proud. I think he might try. He might think he can do it. Look, look what he's accomplished so far. King Byron. Look what he's accomplished so far. The first king of the Redox family. I shall tame it. You enter the pen where the Zorse is held and can immediately tell it does not like your presence. When you approach, it bucks and kicks angrily, causing great pain as it hits you several times. You manage to climb aboard once, but it rears in the air, throwing you off. It is clear this beast is not tameable. Useless creature. We lost prestige. And we're wounded. No! Worst combination. Loss of prestige and wounds. That's not good. Okay, Byron, just hold... You're only... You're 43... This is that very... For, the 40s are very annoying age in CK2. Because if you get a couple of things, you can easily just die. Of nothing, basically. Um, quite easily. So I've got to keep my fingers crossed that he can get through this. If he, can get, if he can get rid of these and get the 50, he could actually live for quite a while. Potentially. If he does not get rid of those, then he may not live past 50. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Because I say he's probably our main hope. Uh, we got 500 gold. I still have that stupid, stupid knife. Which, if we sold it, we could do so much. That would, that would allow us almost to be able to rebuild. Ah. It would almost allow us to do that. Can't use... Am I not using this? Equip this. Oh, I can't. Uh, a large mission camera from distant lands has arrived against your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth. Uh, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, they may they may sleep in the ditch for all we care. Nothing to do with me. Vast, yeah, this one's better. Put that back on. Put it back on. Can I sell this then? I wonder. 
We can. Okay, let's sell it then. A buyer has been found. Ooh, 160 gold. I don't need it. It's just a dragon dragon bone amulet. It's not that big a deal. We've got a dragon bone necklace. You know, that's far better. Um, the amulet, you know, is not as cool as our golden staff. Our golden staff is much cooler. Then again, that is better, but we can only use one. But for that gold, we want to get it as quick as possible. We can get our gold quickly, get the kingdom tile quickly. We can then just push on trying to get the prestige. So, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, picking up, I can't believe I actually sold something. I, I can't. Oh, my God. Guys, we actually sold something. We did it. Oh, game over, guys. We sold something. No, <laughs> the game over. Become exalted among men. Yeah, do that. Go for the prestige there. We've got 700 now. We need 300 more gold. Uh, the betrothal can be done. She's at war right now. What is this about? Trade war over Lockport. Nah, nothing too big. She wants us to come join. We'll accept now. She's currently losing that war. Alistair Tyrell could take it. And what would that mean? This girl would next be in line. She's married to a Baratheon. Luckily, it's matrilineal, so it will be okay. Nares Lornell has arrived at our court. So that should hopefully give us a nice little claim we can use as a jump-off point. Um, seems to be raids going on. Of course, of course, raids everywhere. I've never zoomed in close enough to be able to notice the raids. That's always a big problem. These guys are going to tap my grace. Most improved good name has been a success. Uh, Mr. Lannister died in an accident. I mean, we, we love hearing about Lannister's dying in accidents, but I wish it was my accident. How many is there left? 45 living Lannisters. Wow. We have 19. That's going to be difficult. I would love to wipe out their family. I mean, our first goal is just to take their lands. Make sure they have no, you know, um, at least Lord Paramountcy lands. That's at least. That's our first goal. Then, if we can, we'll try to exterminate them. But that might be a bit too... We might not be able to do that. And then, wouldn't we just be as bad as them? Maybe we've learned from our adventures that maybe... Revenge isn't always... You know, complete extermination. we, we got to be better. You know, getting revenge is fine, but... Don't do exactly the same thing. Then you're no better than them, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. But then again, you know, maybe the cycle only continues because they let a redox... One redox lived. One member of the Dox family lived. A redox. And that's why this revenge cycle will continue. Maybe if we make sure we kill every single Lannister and their kin and any cadet branches, then we make sure there's never... The revenge cycle ends. Um, my son, though, has got grayscale. No, he's not even the youngest. And Maynard's sickly. Well, Parry and Cedric, the line is probably going to be down to you guys, okay? Um, just do a good job, okay? Just make sure you guys don't get anything stupid or die suddenly. That would be kind of nice. Ooh, the Principality of Shin. Well, well, well. Who for? Who for? My sister-in-law. Okay, so my sister-in-law has a claim on Shin. And because of the Megawar system, we could attack them. The babies would be of his dynasty. It would not go under us. Um, if she died, it would go to him. He has no kids. He had no kids. She did. It would go to this girl. So I could marry that girl to my other son. My second son. And then we would inherit Shin at some point. She's 63. She's not on any of her kids. So it definitely would. I guess that's the best. That could be what we could do. But it wouldn't go underneath us. That's the thing. Yeah, even with that, it wouldn't go underneath us. That'd be the other title we need. Yeah, the lands wouldn't go... In, even if my second son got it, he'd just be another king here, but then he'd be in the E.T. lands. But then they could use his claim once the Megal system dies. They could use his claim to attack us. Yeah. Okay, let's not do it then. It's too risky. E.T. is too risky. And we lost the wound. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're scarred. That's fine. Okay, we're scarred. Um, you know, just need to give it that stress. One down. We're losing prestige. We've lost a lot of prestige recently. And my child died. From what? We lost like 300 prestige recently. How did we lose that much? I know we didn't get the Zorse, but still, the prestige is going up. So how did I lose it? Damn it. I need a thousand prestige. Maybe we should hold... No, I need to get a thousand gold. If I'm, if I'm going to hold like a fair or have a feast, it's going to cost me gold. And we need that to get this. So that should be first. That should be first. Make, I don't know how much prestige the Kingdom Tile will give you. Maybe... 300? 
I can't remember. I've forgotten already. Take a loan from a vassal. Ask the Iron Bank for a loan. 400. We could do it right now. And she's been kept. Yes. Lady Meadows has been defeated. The Reach, the Tyrells won. Congratulations, Tyrells. You were losing the fight when we last saw. But you brought it back. And there she goes. Then our plan in the Reach still continues. <laughs> I backed the right horse. Lady Elise is obviously a smart woman. She knows what she's doing. Now, a lot of them have been imprisoned. All the traitors. She does not take kindly to traitors, does she? But that's the type of woman we want on our side. And it's obvious that the king probably did not even help her. That she might not have the best relation with the king. But she's in another war. This time, Poddenfield. Stormlands trying to take the reach, apparently. Luckily, they have a similar amount of men. So she could pull this off. Yeah, she could pull this off. Okay. The Golden Empire. For my wife. My wife. My wife. My sister-in-law, my wife. Yep, we could claim the whole entire thing. That would be our Empire tier title. And the principality of this. Who is that for? My wife again. We could just go for that. That would all be against the Golden Emperor anyway. Wouldn't it? No, it's not all back together yet. Huh. Okay. He's got 15,000 men. He's in Oh, he's becoming capable. That's why. Well, you know, it would give us our Empire tier title. Oof. It would give us our Empire tier title, but would I be able to control Yi T? I don't think we could. I don't think we could control it. That it's elective. It is obviously, you know, um, agnetic cognatic elective. Yeah. So right now, the Locke family do hold it. His son is this one, but then you got Lao. Yeah, it, it's an elective. So how long would we hold it? That would be the, no. We need to create our own empire. Let's create our own empire. I, I like the idea of us creating our own empire and going back to Westeros. That seems funner than me than just taking. You know, when we started, I knew that could be a possibility. You know, getting into Yt, taking it from the inside or invading it, and you know, then using that to get to Westeros. But that that's an empire right now. I'd like to just make our own one. I think it's kind of nice. I have a great idea for a monument. So be it. Okay, give him the money, because he's proud. He's going to give him the money. Oh, we inherited Lord Lambert's lands. Okay, very good. We got Parry's Landing back. There we go. That's nice. Parry's Landing. Okay, it's kind of cool. It's back where we came from, isn't it? Back where we started from. Huh. We got night. We got. We inherited a bunch of gold then as well. We're almost there. A thousand gold. And it's mine. But a son was born to Nerys Nornel already, and it's dead. Well, that's a shame. Sumner Redox. That would have been nice, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Guys, come on, have a baby. Have a baby that doesn't die. That's what I need. But I think we're going to have to end this part here, guys. So we have a plan in place. We're going to build up one of these, which we've almost got to. We're then going to try and get 3,000 prestige, and then the 400 gold that we need after that. And hopefully make our own empire tier title. We then use my daughter's claim. Take Maya for her children. We have to wait for her kids to get the claim. And they'll be of our dynasty. So hopefully will go underneath us. Then we'll use my son. Who by then hopefully will be king. Hopefully we'll use his claim. Or at least his wife's claim. Sorry. To take the reach. And then our kids would inherit the reach. So yeah. Their, their kid the heir to our empire would inherit the reach. And we can then use that to either take over the Iron Throne, take the Westerlands or the North. And we can then aim for the Lannisters, specifically. So that is the plan right now. Is it going to go out like that? I don't know. We've been pretty good so far at getting things that we want. And sometimes we've been kind of lucky and things have popped out. Things I didn't really plan for. And we've got that as well. So, so far, so good. But I feel like though that plan could work. It could work. And we have it. It's here. I, I was about to end, but actually we need to choose one. Let's go for North Point, because it's on the sea. Let's go for that. Colonize. 
I want more money, but if we need money, we can just ask the Iron Bank for money. I want to do this right now. And here we go. It is done. Look at that. Look at our lovely place. Uh, wrong type of holding. I'm just going to give those away. I'm going to need to give away another title as well. My kids are a bit too young. We could give her husband a piece of land. We could give him a piece of land, actually. That Actually, we could give him Parry's land in. Um, so then if we take that land for him, he'd then be underneath me if I have an, yeah, if I have an Empire tier title. He'd be underneath me. So actually, that would work out really nice. How much does prestige does the kingdom give us? 400 prestige. So that's good. Okay, let's make the kingdom. So there we go. 2,500. So we've got 2,500. If we make this, we get 200 as well. Um, I won't make that though until we have enough. So we need... Not even, we need 200 more. 204 more prestige. And we can make the empire. So yes, I think I'm going to give that boy... I'm going to give him a piece of land. But which one? Uh, North Point, Paris Landing. Oh, this one, actually. Yeah, because this one's finished, isn't it? So we could give that away, finally. Yeah, I like, I like the idea of giving that. I need Nefer. I need Pichu. It's such a good title to have. So we'll give that one to him. He's married to my daughter. Congratulations for marrying my daughter. Here is your prize. Congratulations. There we go. Hopefully now, hopefully he'll like her and hopefully the next baby won't die. Hopefully they'll just get along. Because um, that guy will inherit, if not, which could be bad. So we need them to have a baby, actually. So maybe I shouldn't have given that away, but we have. And we now are one step away. Oh, and now I can't create that. Oh, that. That title was for this, wasn't it? That High Lordship was for this. Okay, well, I'm a fool. Uh, that's 200 prestige. I, I need 400 prestige. That's not too hard. As long as we can live. If we can live to 50, I think we can get it, guys. I think it's possible. So, guys... The plan is set in the motion. What do you think? What do you think of the plan? Do you think it's a good plan? Do you like the idea? Or would you rather we went for, you know, Yi T or a different plan? How would you go about getting to Westeros in our point in time right now? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. But until then, I've been NG. And hopefully next video will not be a few days. Hopefully it will actually just be one day. Hopefully. Or maybe even less than that. But yes. See you then.